I know, I know. You're probably wondering what are we doing with a 10 lakh rupee maxi scooter and a 3 lakh rupee motorcycle. But there are more similarities to these two machines apart from just their flashy badges. For example, they both have liquid-cooled single-cylinder engines and they both make 34 horsepower. Of course, there are many differences as well. And while the Maxi Scooter weighs 40 kilos more than the G310RR, it also has a whole lot more torque. It's really going to be interesting to see how this pans out, especially with how similar yet different both these BMWs are on paper. With the C400's weight disadvantage and its CVT gearbox, you would expect that the motorcycle would launch off the line much harder. However, combined with a less than ideal launch from the bike, the C400 got a surprisingly good launch off the line. The question now was whether the big scooter would be able to keep this lead for long, and the answer is no. The G310RR quickly caught the C400 GT and then started to steadily leave it behind. The bike crossed the line in 15.42 seconds, while the scooter rolled by almost exactly 2 seconds later. In race 2, we swapped the riders and this time around, the bike managed to get a better launch and it took a convincing win right from the start all the way to the finish. Of course, drag races were probably the last thing that BMW had in mind when they created the C400 GT. And at the end of the day, this scooter was easily the most comfortable and effortless ride back home among all the bikes that we had at the drag day this year. But with that being said, the G310RR proved to be surprisingly quick. So we were curious to see how it would perform against a certain bright orange rival. 